That, what's that like, uh, Hurt Locker looking bomb defusal suit you got going on back there? What is that thing? Oh, that's a uh, EOD eight uh, bomb suit. It's real, like like under, like yeah, yeah. You want to ch- check it out? I guess you've had c- cause to put that on before, huh? Yeah. Um, let me see here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it reminded me of Hurt Locker. Is that similar to what uh, from the movie? He's muted. I don't know if he knows he's muted. No, oh, yeah, he is muted. That's Damn, you hear me all right? Thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. I thought that was a. I thought that was like a red bookshelf. With a bunch How of much can it save you from? <laughs> like, but, could could you handle a grenade? Could you handle mm. a mortar shell nearby? Um, what's that? Do you think you could handle a grenade going off if you're in that? Man, that's a thing with bomb suits. Like, I, I, I get why. <sighs> I mean, they, they're they really – they're not going to stop over pressure that well. I mean, they will a little, but it's it's really a light frag protection. What is – can, can I like, like – like I think it's the light frag protection, and it's also like on the approach and the and, and getting away. Like like there's definitely – no matter how big the thing is, a, a, while you're walking up to or walking away from whatever you're going to defuse or fuck with, where you're like, oh, if it went off now, I'd be okay. Because of the suit, you could right. not stand here. I can stand here. There's you have a range. A suit, I that don't. Is. You're safe at 50 feet. I'm safe but, at 200. But once you're up there tinkering with the thing, right? Like that thing, I, I don't know what the thing is that doesn't kill you, even though you're wearing that suit, if you're tinkering with it. You know what I mean? Like, like it has to be like a yeah. little thing. And even then, this shit's gone and your face is gone, maybe. Like, definitely well, your hands. Most people. Don't think about soft t- tissue damage with overpressure. Like, like I've got, uh, I very seldom post a social at this point, but mm-hmm. I've got a, a reel on my Instagram feed of like me uncorking a bottle of champagne with a fireball going off behind me. And you watch the overpressure go uh, through the champagne as it's coming out. And you just, think about that going through all the soft tissue on your body in your organs and like i mean you can even look at my crotch on that and look at how the ripples on my blue jeans are affected by it and it's like most people think about fragmentation as like the the primary means of whatever like the damage mm-hmm. but like the overpressure can quite literally turn your brain tissue into like jello what does that it take to create explosion? overpressure? Like a frag grenade, a regular one, an army guy would throw. It's, it's 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 the it's the kinetic kind of energy of the gases expanding, um, leading out from the. I think the I understand reaction. overpressure, but for example, if I was next to a fifty oh, cal, that's not enough overpressure to do anything. If I was next to a frag grenade, is that? Where more than just the fragments are dangerous, the overpressure is also dangerous. Like, what does it take to create o- dangerous overpressure? Well, it, it really depends because there's a lot of different variables, right? So, if you take like a 50 cal and like the the, the round in itself is going what 2,800 feet per second, um, give or take, and and if you're at the muzzle break, how that overpressure's f- focused could be X amount of energy. Um, but then you take most like PETN or C4 and stuff like that is running at around 30 or 28,000 feet per second. So quite literally 10 times the amount of energy being released. And so you look at things like up onward Humvees and stuff like that, and you get these really, really weird reactions inside the cabin because you have all these, these uh, hard surfaces that can actually reflect and channel into like, essentially mm-hmm. laser beams of overpressure. So like you're channeling a muzzle break onto somebody. Uh, so it really, it depends on the circumstance, but that's why it can get kind of, kind of hairy. I, I know a lot of guys who preferred to be in soft vehicles versus up armored. Could they be no wrong? Like, I, I think you're a subject matter expert on this, but like I can imagine this being a field where there's a lot of bullshit where like wives tales run rampant on what overpressure does. I've heard people, claiming to be snipers saying that if you miss someone with a 50 cal 
you know, from like a distance, that they're still in deep trouble. They could still die if that bullet comes anywhere near Dude, them. I know the fine. guy you're talking about. What's that guy's problem? It's the guy so, with skinny someone, and black. The one I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's, it's this skinny black guy who's oh, he's, got, he's one of those guys guy. with credentials who does social media stuff, right? Like, like I, I'm ex Navy SEAL Billy Badass, and mm-hmm. I was a sniper for Delta Force, and I was sheep dip and did CIE black. Ops, and I also play Call of Duty now, so subscribe to my channel. <laughs> he's that guy, and yeah, he's just like, guy. Yeah, the 50 caliber BMG is such a powerful round, you can miss someone, and the bullet can go past them, tear their arm right off. And then, no. like, and of uh, no, of course, it won't. Like, like, you could, I don't, if you could shoot it through my hand reliably, I'd be okay. I bet I don't think it'll shatter. Well, it, I don't know if it'll shatter a champagne glass. I think I've seen, did you do a video where you? Like debunk this. I feel like I've seen the champagne glass video. No, I've I've shot I've did. shot I've uncorked a bottle of champagne with a fifty cal before and it didn't shatter it. Yeah, it just, I mean a glass, like a flute, a champagne flute, I should say. Like I think Mythbusters like shot right next to a flute because that's considered like this really dainty, mm-hmm, fragile mm-hmm. piece of glass. Shockwave. Um, women can break those by hitting high notes, right? You've probably seen that happen. Yeah. That's a real mm-hmm. thing. But the fifty cal going past it won't. It's silly. It's fucking science fiction. And him saying that as someone who supposedly served or used that weapons platform is just, he looks like a, he might just want a lot of interaction (laughs) because people are making videos about the stupid thing he said, you know, you got to think about what's happening. So the, the, the round in itself there, there, it it is accurate to say that there is a, um, a supersonic overpressure wave around the bullet, but the, most people are talking about in overpressure, like, kinetic energy like damage situations it's like the rapid expansion of the gases not necessarily the projectile uh that's creating the the overpressure so the be inside the chamber of the round going off the gas is coming out the muzzle brake you're getting way more um overpressure there than you are from the round going by yeah there's the mm-hmm. supersonic component to it the shock wave around you it you see that's the not air really... condensing because the, the 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 water molecules are being pushed together and it's condensing into like visible water and from just the humidity in the air shock waves yeah. are fucking cool like the big yeah. ones like that beirut explosion that might be the most impressive visual shock wave ever recorded because there's that there's been a couple yeah. chinese factories that blew up and i think i saw a flour mill, flour, um, like bread flour is very explosive in the right conditions when it's atomized in the air per, just right so that when one piece of flour burns, it can set off the piece of flour next to it. If it's the right concentration, it's a b- huge bomb. Um, that explosion was big, but that Beirut thing is crazy. I think it's you're crazy. smart enough now, like after all your experiences, to to not fall into that situation. That Those were kind of... Uh, kind of tragic in that like you i I know most people the the urge to want to film ooh big explosion but like in the back of our heads you're going oh shit light travels faster than sound that's coming it's coming loaded it's fucking coming take cover (laughs) Um, yeah especially when you're buying glass yeah and you see all the windows just like five seconds later just yeah who knows who lived and when you see it you know that that moves at 186,000 miles per second. There's some other shit coming at like 700 miles per hour that's going to ruin your life. Like, you need to Is move. that guy in the clip you just shared? It was the one with the Beirut explosion where there's a guy on a sea dew and he jumps into the water as the pressure that's the video wave I just is coming. Like, yeah, I just yeah. I was referencing it. That oh, I haven't seen is, it. Is that dude? So he's totally fine. Like I going underwater, underwater. and yeah, I, like he, you see he's the fine. camera like get all upturned and everything because he's underwater while the wave is passing. So he's hundred percent, hundred percent good. The water protected. I don't him. know that it would have. I don't know what it would have done to him if he hadn't gone in the water. That was a colossal explosion. But wow. going in the water yeah. is a smart move. It's super heads up, and yeah. it look it's it looks cool on the video too. <laughs> that was very cool, but I didn't know if that was like oh that. You know, it traveled through the water and still fucked him up a little bit. Or, oh no, it just it, it, the, the pressure goes the path of least resistance, which is across the top, or so. I don't know. I don't yeah, know how physics air, works. See, air moving is a big part of it. Like, like it's about to hit. Um, that's the problem with those. You know, we faked all that nuclear. Every time you see a nuclear explosion footage, and you, I'll describe it, and you'll picture it. A building gets hit by a wave of pressure, and at first, all the paint is scorched off, and then the building blows away. Or then there's the one where all the trees lay way over to the right, and then they come back, and as they sort of settle, 
like you can see ash and soot falling off of them. That's all fake footage that the Department of Defense crafted, like made. It's not nuclear de detonations. But when the Russians saw that shit, <laughs> yeah, they were like, oh my God, the West has the most durable cameras in all of existence. Well, it's the <laughs> look at what it did to that house, disaster. and yet cameras stay perfectly focused. Exactly. <laughs> Imagine American camera technology <laughs> in 1939. <laughs> yeah, like like our fucking camera can survive the black. He's yeah. right. Camera doesn't I was move. Kinda, I was kind of disappointed when I learned that too. Yeah. And I was like, I'm oh, no wonder I'm those look so cool. It's I'm not fucking real. proud. That that that's such a good move. You know, it, like that. You think we got them a hundred percent, or do you think there was some? I think we're still getting them, Taylor. With we should make more fake nuke tests. Um, <laughs> the Ru it's working. For, that's what the Russians are doing right now, right? Like, like I think they're threatening to shoot some in, in space or whatever. Oh, really? Maybe that's what the UAP things are, or whatever. Oh, What's I don't, UAP? those UAP things are uh, are are either most likely that's our shit. That's our drones. That's our like mm -hmm. sixth generation dark wars stuff or like slim possibility. It's some sort of like alien race that lives beneath the waves. That's all not alien. Like they've been here all along. They're like the sea people. We're the earth people who, but, but the sea people are like millions of years of evolution ahead of us because they haven't had to deal with any of the crazy shit that goes up on up, you know, top side, now, you little mermaid have, people. I think the footage right is now. real Kyle. Huh? I think that footage is real. I don't think so. I, no, the the ones where it's like the fixed camera and like the mm -hmm. the house blows over. No, mm -hmm. I think those ones are are fake. The ones in like the Bikini Atoll, um, the underwater mm -hmm. ones where you see like the naval vessels doing stuff. The space one, which is really cool. Um, that's all real. This is all I. This is what I just found out. So the artillery like, shell one. Is it real? Shell I was looking into so it. Cool. There was a guy on Joe Rogan's podcast recently, Mark Andreessen, or I can't pronounce names, but that sounds brightish, yeah. who claimed they were fake and said, you know, what happened to the cameras, et cetera. And that was like one of the ways of debunking it. But um, the powers that be have come back and said, yeah, the cameras were well protected in their housings or whatever, and that these are real footages. This is real footage. Are you tell me a Joe Rogan guest misled me on scientific information. If that's where you got it, it seems I get that most at least of that's my... what Associated Press tells us. Oh, my God. I get so much of my historical data from the Joe Rogan podcast. <laughs> I, I, I'm i in shambles right now. If this I don't know where you heard it. I'd only be guessing. But uh... it was literally that. I mean, I'm sure oh, it was. was. It? I'm sure it oh. was. I, so that no, guy... I've heard about these ones from other. I don't remember where, but like obviously nukes are real, but it totally makes sense to make propaganda videos to, to scare geopolitical enemies. I mean, we're I mean, right next I to the hear house. The logic in it, like I'm not denying that, it does make a certain sense to do this, but that doesn't prove it false. I think they showed many. I thought you could see like that some of the stuff was miniatures or something. I thought that was the case. Uh -huh. um, I could, I, I had that belief, but it's it's very anyway. If you're curious, it's here's the it looks right. fake once you're once you hear someone say it is. You're like, oh. Yeah, I guess that doesn't. Well, really you're make a sense. moon denier, so you misbelieve anything. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't even think it's fucking there. There is, there is, there is no moon. He doesn't think there's a That's moon. No moon. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks it's a Death Star, I think and that if we don't star. pay our <laughs> annual tithe of rare earth metal, minerals <laughs> to the lunar elite, then they'll zap us. So that's what the Chinese many metal times. find in northern Arizona and southern something? I forget. What's Wyoming, north of Arizona? Wyoming? I thought north, it was north Wyoming. The Cowboy uh, State. I was afraid Arizona that sounds is, uh, stupid Utah. if I was like, you know, the border of uh, Arizona and Alaska. Dude, I didn't know Wyoming was the Cowboy State mm -hmm. until last week when we were looking at state mottos because we're, you know, it was like four hours in or whatever. And, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, but, but, but I, I was impressed. I don't know. I like that. I like, I wouldn't have thought that's Wyoming would, I seems like Texas should be the cowboy state, I, but I think that's just uh Hollywood propaganda. Yeah. Is it Oklahoma, think, to be yeah, Oklahoma's yeah. cowboy. Isn't that what they're, what is the OSU team called? They're Sooners, right? Oh, you're yeah, right. Sooners. Yeah. Cheaters. Uh, what the fuck is cowboy. The cheaters. You don't know what a Sooner is? <laughs> we call them beep. <laughs> you don't know. You, you know what a Sooner is? Is it a is it a dog? Is it like a hound no, no, dog? No, no, no. Okay, so back in the back in the days, they people would line up, um, essentially with sticks to go pick off their plots of land in the big, you know, migration out west, and they could mm -hmm. claim land. Sooners 
were people who would cheat and leave early and go stake off of their land ahead of the official start time. Yeah, uh-huh. we got there. They got That's this, how they it? got Oklahoma, and you were stuck with Texas. <laughs> okay. so, well, I joke because I, I grew, you know, I grew up technically there in Georgia, uh, but I tell everyone Chattanooga, um, and so you know they're like, you know, they'll see me with something UT on, and they're like, oh, that's not the right, you know, color or whatever. I'm like, oh yeah, that's Tennessee, and they're like, well, oh, you know, not UT, that's that's Tennessee, and I'm like, well, technically. Tennessee had a college before Texas had a state. So who's really the real yeah, UT? And people always, and I, it's just who's fun to that fight. Now? It was like, how many national championships do you guys have? I'm like, I don't really care. How many much. Dollywoods like, do you have? <laughs> yeah. you know, using that I argument, don't, <laughs> I don't know this for sure, but I bet USC, University of South Carolina, is the real USC. Yeah. 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 I, but I I, like, so. and again, I don't. I'm not that passionate to like the argument. Well, that's why you're even harder to reaction. beat the argument. <laughs> you're like, I'm gonna throw this out there and not care about your rebuttal. That's the easiest way to win the argument. Is you say something <laughs> just walk third, away. Is, is someone some you say something wild? It's very fun. Try this, everyone. You say something you like out there, and then someone's like, actually, blah 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 blah, and you're like, okay. Like, whatever. I remain homo. unconvinced like, the moon is real. Wow, look at this guy fucking Googling, like, trying to. <laughs> this guy didn't my, go with his first impulse. <laughs> my, my favorite thing Taylor does is when you come and you're really excited about something, you're like, Taylor, Taylor, guess, guess how much weight I lifted today? And he'll go, 12,000 pounds. <laughs> it's like no, no. What? <laughs> fuck you dude guess what the, no dude, I, near I, that uh, no i do, I do john that. deere 333 g oh. just benching it in the back dude, i like i had someone like this is years ago brag to me about like a deal they got on a car and they're like what do you think i paid for this lexus and i'm like oh nine ten grand probably <laughs> and they're like, well, no, no. Like, <laughs> and you just, you just totally take the wind out of those sails, and you just ruin it. Oh, oh it's so fun. Definitely got to try that. Like, I got to think about it. more scenarios where you can really just throw off the gas just yeah. by. Oh, yeah, it's fucking awful. It's so funny. It's fucking awful. <laughs> I, I, I hate it because you come, you're coming in hot. You know, you're excited about an accomplishment or an achievement of some kind you've made. You're like, oh, you'll never believe how many subscribers I got today. Taylor, yes. Oh, did you get thirty thousand? No, I, I got 800. What's wrong with you, man? Why aren't you? <laughs> no, I'm Why sorry. Are you? you just came in so excited. I thought it would be big news. 